Today is not the day that I turn into a Baptist minister and become holier than thou. Um, I've used that word with my friends in conversation. I've said things on the field that I'm not proud of saying and doesn't bear repeating. There are certain demographic groups that have words and phrase that they use among their demographic group, their demo, uh, demographical group, that if someone outside of that were to say would be offensive. We don't need to get into the, we know the groups, we know what, what's, what's being said. Um, the word means a lot of different things to a lot of people. I get that in the original context of that word, the people that said that word meant to be, said that word to be a, in a demeaning manner. Um, and it was, it's still the most reviled world or word in our English, English language. Um, I don't think there's a person in the world that's of age that can read or have any common knowledge knows what that word means mm -hmm. if it's uttered by someone of the opposite race. Um, I have a heart, and, and I get what the NFL is trying, and, and you're going to speak to this, John Wooten, we mm -hmm. both know and, and, and love him. I know mm -hmm. Wooten a long time, uh, head of the Fritz Pollard Alliance, has to do with minority higher than the NFL. But I have a hard time because guys are in the heat of battle for two, two and a half, sometimes three hours, and they say things in the heat of the moment. And for me, if it's not directed at an official, if the slur or, or phrase or word is not uttered in reference to an official, I have a hard time wanting him to police what's being said on the field. Um, they have a hard enough time watching the plays and, and, and going on. I don't want them to get into the, uh, uh, the policing business and, and trying to clean up what's being said on the field because, Skip, in the heat of battle, things get said. I've said things to people in the heat of battle. Um, now, had it been in effect when I was playing and it would cost my team 15 yards, yep. I can assure you I probably would have used different words and phrases to get the same meaning across. But a lot of times uh, uh, in, in conversations with my friends or I were sitting around casually talking, we do use that word. But I'm very conscious. So, just quickly, you use it, why? Because um, if I'm talking, because I've known a lot of my friends for 15, 20, 30 years. And we talk to each other in, in that manner. I, I, you know, uh, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson said what, what a lot of black America has done with this word is that we've drained it of its venom and toxicity. And we've turned it because what you mean, you turn it in a term of demeaning. We've drained the toxicity out of it and turn it, turned it into a term of endearment. Mm -hmm. This is my brother. I will ride with him. I believe in him. I love him. Um, everybody in black America do, do not feel the same way about this word. And I get it. If it's offensive to you and people say, well, would you use it on air? There's a lot of words I wouldn't use on air. So you can't say because you won't use a word on air that makes it, you know, toxic. Okay, I get it. Certain people have a, 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 a and I think the older generations, you came up in the 50s, the 40s, and back to, you know, 20s when that word, you know, Blacks didn't say that word to one another because that was the word they used to demean and, and, and dehumanize us. It, it made us feel less than. So that word, was, and then somehow, somewhere along the uh, way, as Dr. Uh, Dyson said, we took that venom and that toxicity out of it and we turned it into a term of endearment and make it, so you can't make me feel a certain way when you call me that. Yep. Um, but I still do not feel comfortable talking in that term around people that's not in my demographic. Yep. And, and, and so, I do, look, I get what the NFL is trying to do, but I think the NFL has a lot bigger problems than trying to police what's being said on the football field. Okay. Bear with me on this. Go ahead, take your time. This is not my issue. I'm obviously not black. All I care about is one thing, that if any white person dares to use the word that we're talking about ending in the hard ER, it is the most evil word in the history of the English language, and it is completely unacceptable. And when it passed the lips of one Riley Cooper a couple of years ago, he should have been immediately cut by Chip Kelly, and he should have been suspended by the league. It is unacceptable, but I can only speak to what white people cannot say to black people using the word ending in a hard ER. Right. The word you're speaking of has been homogenized right. to have 
an A at the end of yes. it. Yes. And it is a term of affection and endearment. And I have had these discussions with our friend John Wooten, whom I've known for about 40 years since my days covering the early Dallas Cowboys when he was uh, I know the assistant very GM. Well. I know you do. I spoke to John at length last night again about this. Chairman of the Fritz Pollard Alliance, which oversees the, the Rooney Rule and the hiring of minorities in the National Football League. John is adamant about this. John was the driving force to get this rule instituted, mm -hmm. whereby officials, referees, he doesn't want them to warn players. He wants them flagged immediately. Don't warn them, flag them, because as John says, we, as a black community, have desensitized that word and it's insulting to all the people who fought like crazy and often gave their lives to have that word eliminated. Now, he's still talking to me. John is, remember, he's old, old school. Old. <laughs> he, he blocked for Jim Brown in the mm -hmm. Cleveland days. He was there at that summit, the Ali summit, yep. when Jim Brown and Bill Russell, Bill Russell Kareem, and Abdul Kareem Jamal, came, remember, Muhammad, to Cleveland. Yep. They all came to back and support Ali's stance yep. against the military. Mm -hmm. And... John is adamant that, that, as he said last night, if we don't make these young players respect themselves, nobody's going to respect them. And he, he believes that any use of this word is insulting to the black community. So I'm sure there are many of John's age range who would, would agree with John. Sure. So he was the driving force here. And now I've asked John, well, what happens I, I, sometimes I want to know, is it a black referee or a white referee? Is it okay for a white referee to throw a flag on a black culture word that right. is, there's a term of endearment? Yeah. Wow, that's that's pretty deep stuff, right. and that could be volatile on this field. Now, Marquise Lee could turn to, if it is a white ref, and say, how dare you? How do you know? You don't understand. I just, the white ref would say, I just know what the rule is, right? right? Okay, right. well, it, should it be a rule? John says, absolutely, we need to press harder and harder with this. And, and as he told me, there were uh, two years ago, six times the flag was thrown for this use. Not a lot for a whole season. Then last year, he wasn't aware of one flag thrown. And this year, he's not sure if others have been thrown. But Marquise Lee volunteered to make this public that, right. yes, I got flagged for saying mm -hmm. the N-word.